everyone, and welcome back to Spirit Fair. Once again, I just jumped back into this world, and last time there was some heavy stuff going on. Now, we may sound a little bit different today, and that is because we have our new microphone set. That's exciting. So hopefully it'll be a little more pleasant for you, and a little, just a little more streamlined. But I hope you are doing well. We've changed our outfit and daffodils color. Bit cute now. See what we have. said goodbye to Gustav and Bruce. Beverly. Atul. Quite a few departures last time. We'll see what we can get. <laughs> Using some of the sheets that we made. We'll just go ahead and gather all of our stuff. Last time we also gained a new friend. Possibly a new spirit at least. Elena up here. This electric sheet. We have the next upgrade for our boat. And we just so happen to be right here at the shipyard. But let's see what Albert has to say to us. What you got for us, Albert? You've got a cow on your boat. That's neat. Do you know why cows have hooves instead of feet? Because they lack toes. <laughs> Dear. At that last time, now we can boat go even faster. Gonna be a lot of fancy stuff in order to make our boat go even faster. And it's the last improvement. Ooh. Our boat completely, completely upgraded. We have to save up enough money in order to steer this whale. Get enough item. Another thing for to make it even faster. If it doesn't use up all of the spirit flowers, what are those going to be used for then? I'm curious. <laughs>
Ты злой. Still curious where to find all these raspberries. Right now, I haven't seen the gold track, but in my exploring and farming last time, yeah, found the gold dragon the way up here. So let us go see what that's about and see if we can't complete what she's asking of. the crops, but I plant more. In the meantime, Spirit and I have been planning and deciding what plants to plant ourselves this year. Time to get a dump on them. Start growing them in seed trays in inside while it's still warm in the house. Pretty bitter cold outside right now. So, lots of neat things going on. Dove's house with the Yoni. How neat is that emblem? No hugs over here. Said she didn't want her her quarters upgraded, but her house does have some improvements we can put on it. Be it subtle ones. here again. Maybe once we're done with the dragon, we'll see what we get from it. We'll look our way back over here and see. My. A new task. This creature is in pain. It will thrash and fight. It will be a decent challenge for you. As long as you don't forget to use your dash ability. Go. I will be timing you, of course.
get their own light light ability. the fun. I think we are. Hit, final hit. Got it. Feeling better, Mr. Gold Dragon. You are showing promise. What are you waiting for? Go on now, student. find that treasure and I guess we'll see if we can find some pulsar rays hello Lily have a hug
Eat the cows. Milk the cows. Since we've done the these stores. That'll do. It's funny thinking about our cows and Bruce's joke about Galacto. Spirit and I were running errands yesterday, we actually saw a small white car with black cow spots all over it, as well as, I guess, a fake cow head or skull or something on its, on its, on the hood of it. So we were making puns and jokes left and right and whatnot. Uh, I don't remember. I remember the one I made was Like, how fast does your car go? Oh, it runs... Oh, it doesn't run on horsepower, it runs on hoof power. One that Spirit made was... Since it was black and white... Um... Like, well, how do you identify what the car is? Whether it's black or white? Oh, it's kind of a moot point. Just a little bit of heat. Marriage ring. That's an and a special item. A simple promise. Now it's just lost. Anything to say on this, Elena? It wasn't a cakewalk for the gifted ones either. They had their own challenges. They were just open to the test. They were rewarded handsomely for their dedication. The weak ones, as much as the gifted ones, had a monster to take. That monster was me. I am the enemy they would remember. I am the dragon they would have to slay. With hard work and complete dedication. Or they would whine and quit. And be out of my sight forever. Yeah. Like, what kind of... Teacher, did you have to become or have before all these experiences in order to have this kind of hardened attitude? <laughs> Plain food, hate it's fine dining. What else did she 
Not breakfast food. We still need to find Sandwich Walk, which that was just added to our last time. Fuck. And we still need to visit Overbrook. I am, we still have an ex. Good north half of this. Sorrows versus deadly sorry. Oh my god. But that is slightly different from the other one we gave. Oh there it is, there's sandwich. Hi. Meteor show. How many places with deadly pulsar ray storm? Cool. Take our way over here and see what happens. Like Get and go to a bus stop at some day. We can go see Susan. I think we've made and collected all of the categories. We'll see about Need to collect more XP potions, which we can only get from Bucks. Shadow Silver, Shadow sh or Shade, Steel Orc event. I also went ahead and the upgrade. Buck's house. Now he has teens, weapons. I think we were about to put the last decorative upgrade on it. Yeah. Posters. calls for a good amount of all of our
still curious what way it's going to be to be able to get more XP potions if things are going to start calling for me. Still haven't found any of his dislikes, one like, and his favorite. Your playstyle has been so good so far. I mean, your spells could be a bit optimized for sure. But your roleplay is frackin' A. Even Bob was impressed. And, yeah, we've never had a girl at the table before. We're happy you're here. I'm really happy. I'll try to finish the campaign to the best of my ability. More NPCs, more background elements, more magic items. Right. Are you ready for another challenge? They'll be coming from all directions. Steal your mind. Visualize their patterns. Use your dash and light burst ability. And act. Hmm. Saying I can dip the pulsar rays with the light ability? Oh, I, I would have had that one. Is at least a good tip to use the light burst on. <laughs> I can see you're sweating a bit. Good. These challenges are supposed to be difficult. You have earned a carrot. Not a literal carrot, but a reward. Here it is. It is in the form of a challenge, however. I have nothing more to say to you. Be back over. There it is. Mission 40 minus... Well, let's just go find out what's on this treasure map. that for next time we're down in this I'm sure we will be back birds and which one a little bit further into the unknown. 
I can't uncover more of this. Your chickens fit. Are you sure you wouldn't like something, some things in your house, Elena? Or are you just being contrary that you actually would like stuff in your house, but not think wise or proper to ask for something? out here. Go just a little bit further and see if can uncover. Now I'm curious if our light burst ability would do anything for the darkness. Only one way to find out, and that's to go right up to it. Nothing out this way. Hmm. We are right on the edge of the darkness. Certain. May have to take a time off screen and actually see how much of this I can map out myself. But for now, let's just head to the bus stop. And we'll make our way to Sandwich Walk and see about lighting up that lighthouse, Buckwan. hope chat is having a lovely day night wherever you are in the world right now lurking and chatting is both appreciated as well are follows if you're new here to the stream also our discord with exclamation mark community find the discord just a way to connect with the farmhouse the stream that's normally why i post what we're doing and when and just connect and share with stuff with the community in general. Yeah, da -da 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 -da. 
Hey, the mist being down here may well. <laughs> And on to Sandwich Walk. Sandwich walk discovered, oh my. This place looks quite flashy. And there's another sheep here. This place used to be cool. It was buzzing and off the walls. I remember a party that was... Wait, do I remember a party? Was it just me? I remember people. Were there even people? I'm so lost. Oh. Leave me alone in this darkness. Hi. I'm a big fan of ads. They tell me what to think. It's not science. It's a way of life. Here's this. Oh. Got the achievement. Everything is illuminated. Turn on some additional lights over. What do you have to say about this? I can see your lips moving, but I can't hear you. Whatever. Just listen to the lights buzzing. I like ads, but I don't like ads. You know what I mean. Sort of. Mr. Value? <laughs> Suppose not, so let's go see what Buck has to say about this. Erupts in elation. All the fires have been lit. Hondor has arisen. The lit god Nor Nemloth is on the verge of being defeated once more. But 
What is it? What is this terrible ruckus you hear? A thousand war horns roar at once. Could it be? Hatefully, yes. The final assault of the Shadow Steel Clan. Led by one eye Amogaroth himself. Amograthog. Clad in the eldritch armor of Rongmar, Amograthog points his loathsome blade at you. You won't escape me this time, you miserable maggot! I will destroy you in the hopes of this world! Trembling in fear and apprehension, you gather your inner strength to face the enemy. Make a courage check. 18. Success! The orc won't scare you. For you are the light bearer! The chosen one! Now the time has come for you to show them what you are made of. Fight! Alright. that the light burst would charge just a little bit faster. <laughs> Through the thick mist of the aftermath, silhouette is barely discernible against a terrifying backdrop of a gargantuan battle. All free people of the world are holding their breath, hearts pounding in their chests. A deafening silence creeps in, an atmosphere thick as rock. Victory! The Chosen One has triumphed! She who bears the light is conquered! In a crackling sound of terror, Gornemloth's shadow stops immediately its course over the darkened sky. The Lick God is no more. May the Radiant Fae bless our souls. May Hallow forever watch over your path. May the graces of Imalda sing our praises for aeons to come. The world is saved. And now, jaded but jolly, the hero stands up once more. Looking at the horizon, her heart fills with hope, her resolve stronger than ever. A chapter of her adventures might be completed, but her story is far from over. Rejoice, free people of the world, for the Chosen One will be back. But for now, she will rest her heavy shoulders, unload her burden, and once more gaze at the stars. Adore him, Tom. Congrats! You did it, Stella! Okay, now if you don't mind, I need to take a break. I'll take some time to think about what great adventurer we could do next. A space opera with lasers and spaceships? Can it include giant flying mechs and uh, uh, idols? Pop idols. Post apocalyptic roar. The a post apocalyptic road war setting? Or a horrific eldritch adventure with cosmic horrors, maybe? We'll see. Commander, I mean, Stella. I... 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 well... I can't believe the campaign is over. I mean, yeah, I'm thrilled, but... I don't know. I feel empty now. Ha! Huh. You know what? I'll prepare a little something else for you. Something simpler, maybe. Just to take a breather. You'll see. You did good, Buck. Uh, 
candor, I'm sorry to require but a fragment of your precious time. But I gladly accept a modest meal. A vile hunger tortures my innards. to really like pub and comfort food. My deepest apologies, Commander. I cannot accept your generous offer. As I've crossed paths with him, crossed paths with him, Lactogroth the Knob Goblin cursed me out of jealousy. A dreadful level 3 lactose intolerance. Yes, it's conjuration ritual. Won't talk about what happens if I ingest the smallest dose of dairy. Okay, so no dairy. Hmm. Not toffee. Uh -huh. Remember the curse that afflicts me, Commander, unless you can do something about it. Remove curse is a level 3 spell, though, and I don't think you can access it yet. In the meantime, no dairy for your humble servant, right? I figured toffee was dairy, but he brought it for... The first campaign of the Silver Company, so I thought maybe... Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's that description say? A lollipop we made from honey, because of course honey and sugar when cooked down to a certain temperature can crystallize and become hard candy. It's a cowboy bee pop! Get it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I get that reference and I love it. A cowboy beat pop. Oh my. Oh dear. I guess let's see what else Buck might actually like. about this <laughs> glorious your humble servant accepts your gift of comfort with much deference commander and as much as his taste buds cast a salivate spell and de delectation his stomach lost its initiative role this is so good lactose intolerant likes comfort still haven't found anything else Would you like a hug? <laughs> I was in dire need of a spirit heal. My mana was low. I'm always up for spirit. Next, we could head to Oxford. Almost still the middle of the day. yet to travel further south of well, let's head back to the bus stop see if we can't go over close to the Everdor find that treasure Lena left We discovered all the peas last time. Imagine the urchin turned into. over there.
Not yet, nice. Is her mood work just always going to be gives harsh feet? Her treasure spot was neg was forty negative fifty. sure you wouldn't like an upgrade in your house? Cubicle. Wait, did that really make her sad? an opulently improved hat. that to be something that might cheer you. But it's like it's been everything that's completely opposite of all of our friends so far. All of them enjoy hugs, all of them enjoy having their own space and having it upgrade. So far, everything just seems to make her upset. All kinds. What's this treasure be now? Rare coin collection. You made good on your promise to find these valuables. I know these bring back memories. Your ring from a past marriage. Those coins from your brother, you say. You need to stop thinking of such things. Your past will always bring you shame. Your past will bring you down. Your heart needs to guide you forward. I need you to do something hard. Perhaps impossible in your current state. I need one of those valuables. Take your time to decide. Then you can give it to me. So these belonged to Stella? Oof. Just adds more weight to the valuable. I thought they were going to be Elena's. I guess it's just a matter of if they were Stella's, what were they doing Alster in the ocean in the first place? It's a matter of is there a difference between 
giving something from brother or giving something from was it was it failed or Just give this, I guess. That must have been hard. Such is life. You live. You lose. Were you expecting something in return? I will let you have some time for yourself now, student. Dear. Gang, you just meet all kinds in life. It's nighttime, so I don't even know if we'll make it back in time to make it over to Oxbury to see the see the one thing at the shrine. Well, no, we might. It's just barely now midnight. The sun rises at six. Hopefully, we'll make it over. I guess we can work on making some of those sheets we need. New Oxbury. <laughs> it's past two o'clock, so we should make it with. Keep our sunflower seed supply up. should still have plenty. Here we go. 
All right, Chad, it's time for more lore. Let's see where it goes this time. That's your first Montreal apartment, isn't it? When you moved out of the house to the big city? My sister, my big sister, striking out on her own. Yeah, that place was such a dump. Sorry, sis. It was. You could decorate it all you wanted. It would always smell whenever your neighbors were cooking. And you could hear them yelling at each other. Your rent was probably so cheap. Plus, you were all alone. No roommates. Well, not quite alone. With Daffodil. Speaking of which, I'm still mad at you for taking the family cat. I don't remember us talking that much during that time. You were busy with work. I was still in high school, not paying much attention. I don't think we had much in common. Except death, maybe. Me, after dad, I had to do something about it. I was trying to shut it out, but it kept coming anyways. I don't know how you can deal with it constantly. Working at the hospital with people at the end of their lives? Oh. Around you, all the time. Helping those people who are suffering in front of your eyes. There was Summer. That's Summer. She did not go quick. That cancer stayed inside her and took its time. That was it. Chat, that was it when we were speculating the time when Summer was talking about the dragon inside of her. The dragon that her father was facing. Her past career with working with bioengineering chemicals and crops and everything. We called it. As harsh as that is. It even gave her some hope. But it came back harsher. Mom was devastated. Probably for the best that Rose wasn't around to see it. Rose was so kind-spirited and fragile. Losing her dear Summer would have broken her heart. I remember going to Summer's house with Mom, with all those plants and that heat. It was like a sauna. She said something about the body being like all living things. Especially plants. I just remember being mad and sweating a lot. Then, there were the friends you made along the way. That Giovanni and his wife Astrid? I hear you talk about them. They were basically your adoptive grandparents. And the stories that would come out of their mouths. The cheating, the lies, the heartbreak. All those headaches. Can you imagine what Giovanni put Astrid through? But she was right at his side at the end. Even if she had moved on. Even if she had found someone else. He was her one and only Geo. Forever. They both knew that they only had each other in the end. That's how I want to go out, Sid. Holding the hand of the one I adore. I think I need a refill. Maybe stretch my legs a bit. I'll be back in a minute. Don't you go anywhere. Oh. So now we learn more and more about Stella. About... How supposedly she was a nurse or a worker at a hospital or some sort of hospice or home or something. And all the people that she met, the people that really did know her, ways we had speculated of if they were connected to her in some way. But again, you know, now discovering last time that Stella may be basically in the hospital herself in a coma. And her sister by her side looking at her photo albums, seeing her past stories that she shared. And that Stella was the older sister, while Lily is the younger sister. A lot of stuff coming out now. Easy. Also, hello, Kumama. It's so good to see you. I appreciate you being here. Next 
the next big thing all we have to do is go to the next shrine to listen to Lily again. Yeah, lurking and working. Yeah. Hope you will. I am doing well. Again, the end of... The end of the last stream was a bit feels heavy because of all the departures and certain ones that affected me in a certain way, such as Beverly and Atul and such, regarding my own life. It's still been a good time, and today's been good. But I appreciate it, and I hope you're doing well, and you make lots of progress you can feel good on, or just any amount of progress. Even a little bit of progress is still moving forward. We are close to Overbrook. I think it's part of the DLC, so we could go over there and see what's going on. I hope so too, and I'll have to go check out the VOD. Yeah. Again, this game is so good, and it does such a wonderful job of displaying all the kinds of lives and experiences and everything. And it does get a bit heavy in driving it. I did choke up and tear up a little bit and sharing some of my own life and loss of loved ones just because some of the departures and the spirits reminded me of that but in a good way it's all about processing it and dealing with it in the right way right yeah let's go over to overbrook and pick that up so i guess in the meantime elena has something for us to do For sure. I have another teaching for you. And you're tough enough to not be broken. I need you to take me to the Everdor. What? Already? You are equipped to do so now. We don't need to say more until we get there. Peace. Quiet. That is good practice. It starts now. Well... And, like, we found Elena, like, I don't know, near the latter half of the stream and everything? And I guess even with her time trials and such, maybe it should have taken more time? But, darn. This lesson seems easy. No talking, just sailing towards the Everdor. Easy might not be the right word here. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, let's head to Overbrook. Let's do something a little bit different than saying goodbye to friends and hearing about... So let's break it up a little bit. Let us do that. Curious if there's a way I can ask Buck if he can do another event to get more XP potions. Oh man, that enhancement to the chicken coop is actually doing some good. They're only halfway through the feed and I've got like two more extra eggs in here.
Okay. Well, let's see what we discover here in Overbrook. Had this on our shenanigan list for a while now. It's not. Hey, wait, it's you. Stellars. It's your old pal Jackie. Ah, coming to the rescue once again, aren't you? Well, let me tell you, I have no idea what happened. I was hiding. Uh, I mean. I was taking a short break. Yeah, from my shift. And then I saw this old beat up vending machine. Funny how I never noticed it before. Then, as soon as I approached the machine, the whole place got all foggy. Weird stuff, man. Weird stuff. Maybe something broke somewhere. Anyway, not much we can do until management sends a maintenance crew, I guess. I really can't work like this. I can barely see. On top of that, the machine's almost empty. Darn management probably never refilled it. Busy bums. The one good thing is that I can see a tasty Choco Blasters. Oh, I forgot my wallet and my coat up there. Hey, do you think you can maybe get it for me? Mm-hmm. I swear I'm good for it. I'll pay it back as soon as I can get to my wallet. Well... Uh oh. A few interesting things in here. Warning. Highly pressured liquid chocolate core. What? Thank you. Oh. That's a special machine. Oh, yeah! Choco Blasters, let's blast off! I'll... What the? Oh! Light warning! Was not expecting that to suddenly turn into a friend out of nowhere. Oh, this theme song. Whoa, that was far out. Did you see the machine? It was all glowy and stuff. Like that fancy thing you're wearing on your belt. Nice bobble, by the way. Now, about that Choco Blasters. What? It's already half eaten? Mm -hmm. What the? That's just gross. Never mind then, I'm not hungry anymore. Wonder why. Anyway, seems like whatever was going on is over now. Oh well, back to the grind for old Jackie. Hey! Know it could be fun? A tour of the place. You didn't come to Overbrook for nothing, right? Let Jackie give you the VIP tour. How about it, yes? Ah, knew it. You were always kind of a sucker for these things. Teacher's pet and all that. Hey! I can read you like an open book, Stellars. All right, all right, let's go. If you get scared, just grab my arm. Eh. Curious what these other things are going to be, but I'm guessing they're going to be just more story-related stuff. Anything in here? No. Okay. Hmm. Hello, you. Would it be possible to... Well, if it's not too much to ask. Oh. Would it be possible to take a small... Just a tiny... Nothing, really. Oh. Would it be possible to take a small bite of you? What? Uh, no? Oh. I see. Well, I'll be around if you change your mind. Do I have to change my mind? I'm not really into strangers wanting to... Say they'd take a bite out of me. Or even come anywhere close to my person in that manner. So this here is the general admissions wing. It's used for... Hey, that's Jamie. 
Jamie, hey. Oh, hey, Jackie. What's up? Oh, nothing much, nothing much. Just giving my pal here a tour of the hospital. This is Stella, by the way. Jamie, don't mention toes, okay? Here she's got six of them, and she's very sensitive about it. What? Mm -hmm. Really? Hello, Stella. Nice to meet you. Thanks for telling me. I wouldn't want to. Mm -hmm. Oh, there. Made the lady mad. Relax, Stellars. It's just a goof. Mm -hmm. You smell like flowers and candies and newborn babies. Hey, that rhymes. Right, Jamie? Oh, huh. Right. Yes. Ah, good one, Jackie. Good one. You're a riot. Thanks, Jamie. Talk to you later. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm kind of a local star around here. I can't get enough of old Jackie. Everyone loves me so much, I suspect some of them are just faking their illnesses just to stick around. Anyway, let's move on. Hmm. We can talk. I had a little accident. I sneezed so hard that my dinner came out of my nose. Ow. I hope they can put it back in. What? I don't want to be wasteful. Um. There are other ways to use food in such a way that you don't have to re ingest it. Dear. I can't feel my bones. Is that normal? Can't feel in a way how, like, normally you don't acknowledge your bones being used in your skeleton unless you purposely feel them out or break them, or you're all rubbery. I brought my dog in for a checkup a few days ago. I hope he's alright. Hey, buddy, what are you up? An orderly, finally. Is anyone working in this hospital? Um, it's... I, uh, uh... Stop drooling and just do your job. People are hungry and this place is filthy. People are supposed to get healthier here, not sicker. Oh dear. What, nothing to say? <laughs> Never mind that guy, Stellars. He's an idiot. Hey, I'm right the... Yeah, yeah, moving on. Oh my. Hello again. Would it be possible... Uh, oh. Do I have to change my mind with this guy wanting to fight or whatever he wants? Hi there. I'm Flo. This is Lau. We are looking for our cat. She's quite old, but she's great. He can't be too far. He's so fluffy. He sleeps a lot. Sometimes she sleeps on my back while I'm reading. It's not super comfortable for me, but she likes it. Well, have you seen a cat beside yours? Not yet. That's too bad. I was really hoping someone would have seen her. Well, we shouldn't give up. She's bound to be here somewhere. Thanks anyways. Well, I guess we'll keep an eye out for a cat. Another cute kitty like Daffodil and Kitty Go Go. Oh my. This place is a little run down. The nerve of this guy. Really, what was that about? I'm out there busting my butt every day, every night. The pay is crap and the hours are worse. On top of all that, I've got this entire butthead all up in my crack with his stuff. This place is filthy. Oh no, I'm hungry. What to do? What to do? Do I tell you how to do your job? No, no I don't, because I have some manners. I don't know the first thing about shoveling crap. What? Oh, what's this? It's... Oh crap, it's the room of a very special patient. Very troubled, very difficult. There's no way up anymore. The ladder probably bo broke while I was getting a snack. Well, can't do much about that. Not until management get gets here anyway. 
She'll be fine for a while. Plus, I could really use the time off. He really is a handful. Oh my. Oh, hey you. You gotta help me out. My leg is all bent up. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, it hurts so bad. You gotta help me out and fast. I'm not going in there, though. I can't pay, and I hate hospitals. Hmm. Why did I come here, then? That's none of your business. As I was saying, I really hate hospitals. Hmm. They smell like vinegar. Vinegar is for chips, not for hospitals. Ow, my leg! Hmm. Listen, I'm gonna need a few things. Listen up. Oh, I'm in so much pain. Hmm. Oh, wait. You got it all. Nice. One second. All right, all right. Hmm. Boom. Nope. Did you think I was going to stand up? Mm. Actually, I was feeling pretty good sitting down. Darn. Mm. Now I don't know. Did I stand up and get tired? Did I sit down and get tired? Mm. Either way, I'll be tired. I just need to figure out what kind of tired I want to be. Hi. I don't even know what he was going to ask us for. But there's a chair we can sit in. Gotta sit in all the chairs. Oh. Hello. Oh. We're not open yet. Trust me, you'll know when it's ready. It will smell a certain kind of way. Oh. And finally, the cafeteria. Always on duty for all of your slop needs. Mm. Oh, hey, Jackie. Back from break, are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. Did you need anything? Mm -hmm. Um, well, you see. I wanted to grab a bite here. And apparently the kitchen is out of supplies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, figures. I swear these idiots up there are going to starve us all to death. I'm sure they're all out on, for, on a cruise for a corporate retreat. Hey, don't worry. Jackie's on it. I'm sure you are. Thanks for watching out for us, Jackie. Eh, don't mention it. Well now, where could I... Oh! Stellars! You always were... You always were... Oh, so helpful. You wouldn't happen to have some kitchen supplies on that big boat of yours. Five bags of rice should do the trick until our next shipment. I'd owe you one. Oh, there we go. Hold on now, I've already got it. I need to come back here right now, mister. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello again. <sighs> Are you not going to be quiet until I let you take a small bite of me? Is that it? Oh. Thank you very much. I can definitely say you taste like chicken. With hints of different spices. Oh. Maybe oregano? It was quite a good bite. Well. Guess I didn't know or feel or hear anything different, so. Hmm. I hope we find her sooner, Lao. Hmm. I hope we find her soon, Flo. Ah. Hmm. Hey, you. What's your name? Where are you from? Hmm. What's your favorite color? Do you ever dream? What are you doing later? Mm. Are you helping people? Do you have a dog? Why do you only have a cat? Mm. Do you not like dogs? Have you ever been bitten by a dog? Is that why? Mm. Is it because the bite got infected? Is your arm alright? Oh. Does your arm smell or something? Mm. Can you still see out of your left eye? Are you blind now? Do you see spots when you close that eye? Mm. Did you go to the hospital to get it checked out? Is that why you're here now? Well, is it? I. Those queries I've gotten in one sitting, or standing, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was very chickeny. Well. Jackie, I need you to come back so I can give you the rice. Where are you going anyway? Just walking around? 
say. Have you managed to put together five bags of rice? Mm -hmm. Yes. Great. Maybe they'll lay off my back for a minute now. Who am I kidding? They won't. Oh. Well, Stellars, as usual, you're a lifesaver. I don't know how you do it. Mm -hmm. Well, better get back to it then. That slop ain't gonna distribute itself. Come back sometime, eh? Mm. I'm sure I sure can use the break. Aye. Well, you're hungry. You seem to have a thing for chocolate. Do you have anything that would be cool for that? Maybe a stick. What about a toffee? Right on, thanks for the meal. I was starving. No likes or dislikes here. You like hugs? Mm. Oof, yeah. Needed that. I don't get nearly enough hugs. Now, what was he saying about a patient? Broken ladder. Oh my. It does appear like there's no way up there. Despite my double jump and all my other ability. Has nothing to do now but back to the ship. Nothing about anyone. we could see about heading to Grey Mist. Oh, which is right up there. Though now it's morning, so he won't be around for that. We could explore onwards and see how much more of the map we could discover in the meat. I'm still curious where I found those raspberries unless they were maybe floating along and some of these crates and such? Put that away and see if we can't find more resources as well as push on into the map.
Oh jeez, just walked right over that because of all the mist. Even know if I could be able to see if there's any sparkle spot. Make anything out, Michael. On we go. we doing on oh my my even though there's so much space to the right in the map darkness there that push past. Oh, thank you. Like some snacks? Seems like there's so much space out over here. We've got to be able to do something about it at some point. We'll just press down in this direction instead. Too close? Yeah. Or... Hang on. Do this. About a little ways from the darkness. Then see if we can't cut down the... have to check this out. I subscribed to this magazine a few weeks ago. It's Looter's Literary Review. What? Are you kidding me? You don't know what it is? It's just the most epic treasure hunting magazine out there. Every issue has a very difficult and fantastic riddle to find the lost treasures of the Crow's End Inc. trading empire. They ferry goods from island to island. Before Raccoon Inc. became a merchant powerhouse, Crow's End reigned supreme. Of course, Theodore Raccoon started ambushing Crow's End vessels out of pure mercantile spite. The company collapsed after a few months of constant attack. Their wreckage still haunts our sea to this day. Entire shipments of valuables were lost at sea and never recovered. Until now, the answers are all here. One Crow's End Inc. treasure chart per issue. That's the promise. The rest of the magazine is articles about living off the land, fighting your dreams when sleeping. It even has ads for crystals and dragon eggs. It's a pretty great magazine. The guy who writes it is called Casper Grayford. Obviously a pseudonym for security reasons. Protect themselves from fans and raccoon. 
Anyway, I just got my first issue. There's an article in Secret Airwaves that can cook food in seconds. I'm going to read that right now. You should take a crack at that issue's riddle. I bet it's a hard one. Go ahead. Open it up. Interesting. Looter's Literary Review presents the first of the Crow's End Inc. Lost Bounty. And remember, salt can be a treacherous foe when you are made of ice. See enclosed portalon chart for references. Part that details the location of a secret diving treasure. What an adventure! And look at that, you got a portalon chart. Which is basically just a pretty looking treasure map. That will help you find the treasure more easily. It's an old map, so it might not be that easy. You can use it with the projector in the archive room B2522. Oh, try it. Hmm. Wait, I got more mail? Uh-oh, letter from Jackie. To whom it may concern, on behalf of the fort... On behalf of the Fart Bank of Fartopolis, of which you are one of the prime benefactors, please accept the enclosed Fart Dividends. <laughs> this is not really a letter from the bank. This is from Jackie, and I farted in the envelope. Great. Just wanted to tell you that the vending machine has finally been restocked. Come check it out. Um, Jackie, please. I wasn't expecting a spirit to make fart jokes, but here we are. Oh, here we go. Looter's Literary Review Portalon Chart Number 1 details the location of a secret diving treasure. Huh. So what we have what looks like an ice rip two islands and another sort of area marked off. What a great riddle. I bet you won't figure it out. I know where to look, but I've taken an oath. The Looter's Oath, which states never talk about lo looting with another looter. You're on your own for this one, Stella. But, Buck's the one who's taken that oath. Let me find the voice. One second. Arr! Oh, hey there, matey. Old Johnny Silverleg is right here by me maiden's side. Hoisting the mainsail. As an humble buccaneer, I can ne'er disobey me cap'n. These crows and ink treasures are an old corsair's dream. If ye ever need it, I can offer up me cartography knowledge. Come see me if ye ever feel lost on these seas. Arr. Good luck, Cap'n. <laughs> well? Uh oh. We're close to a tuna spot, how about that? Well, I guess let's go bag us a tuna real quick, now that I know how to fish him up. If we get at least one type of every type of tuna in this sea, we can trade it to Can to Francis for a pretty glim or two. The trick is I have to pulse the button instead of letting it off. So it lets up the strain of the line without letting him go out too far. The 
they give you quite the jam just so you know it's the tuna you've got on the line. There we are. Let's see what else is out here in the meantime. Another lobster. Just a little bit further, and then we'll see maybe about hooking over to that bus stop. need three rose gold sheets, oh my gracious. There's another one down at least. Anything of interest in this direction? No, just more darkness to the east. Well, let's just hook over to this bus stop and see if we can't find that treasure. glad that the ship goes faster, I do have to wonder what the differences would be. It always goes by percentages of moving faster. Struck a little too hot there. Looking at it, I have my suspicions of where this treasure might be. Take one last look in the archive room. I think I might be able to make a solid guess. Again, we've got the ice line, the ice flows, the set of islands to the north, and then the line which I assume 
is like this the constant snowy area we're in. See if we can't plot this out. Although I almost I almost kind of want to ask Buck just to hear his voice again. With Captain Silverleg. Please. It's one o'clock. Well, maybe we can see if we get a second issue. Okay, here. Close. Let's try over here and see. Because it was almost kind of in a straight line across from the islands over here. Which were... Loneberg, okay. So let's try over here first, just on our own. See if we can't plot out that treasure before we ask Buck. Although the question is, is it going to show us dive spot or anything? Will it have a sparkle dive spot? Okay, well, I'd say that was a fair guess, but maybe now we can ask Captain Silverleg for his assistance. Granted, it's still nighttime and he won't be up till morning. Wake everybody up. Wait, I can interact with his D and D table? Oh, that's how you start the event for getting the XP potions. Excellent, okay. Well, it wouldn't hurt to to do that then. Got a two for there. to know I can sort of trigger those on my now the question is where is Buck hiding out during the day
Here we go. Oh. Once in a while, there'll be one of them that stands out from the pack. It's a numbers game. You will break a few. Then one will hatch eventually. Aye. Uh, can I ask you about your cartography skills? <laughs> Maybe we could try just a little further south and... in here. I think I could give it my best guess. Or... Maybe it's talking about over here, with a little bit more of a curvature in the... Oh, no? No, there's something here. seem like we found it. Oh, great pirate captain. What a marvelous find. In the ice, no less. Many captains have perished in such conditions. Not you. No need to walk the plank. Arr. Now we just have to wait for the next issue of Looter's Literary Review. Hopefully it has more articles about seagulls. Well, we found it. And it seems it gave us upgrades to our field and our garden. How about that. Okay, not too bad. How oh, nice, we won't have to worry about watering our garden anymore. It's almost as good as drip tape in the in real life. Which when I say drip tape is literally it's sort of like a water hose, except it's flatter. It can lay right against the ground, and it has little slits cut into the bottom in different spaces, different spacing across the bottom of the hose. So then when you turn the water on, it'll drip, literally, it'll drip water along the spots where the slits in the, in the hose are. So then you're not just letting the water kind of run. Like, I mean, watering in general is good, but it's a little more concentrated. 
Yeah, hopefully. Should be good for conserving and using your water with more precision. Drops. Plus it kind of lays under all, under all the growth. You don't have to worry about getting it out until you're ready to pull it up. If that makes any sense. his favorite and any of his liked Grey Mist. Grey Mist was actually back near Overbrook. We can head to a bus stop. Check that out. I think that's had a lighthouse that we haven't done anything about. just go ahead and upgrade the smith because usually when we upgrade stuff it not only makes it go either twice as fast or with twice the yield so that would be a good benefit We lit these both up, but the doors are still locked. I was hoping that might mean something. Oh. This here, this is poor workmanship. When you work on something, you need to be disciplined. You need to be precise. Anyone who works like this is just giving up on themselves. I might not be able to install drywall. However, I do know it should be done. No. Oh. Are you going to find us a way to come in? Is that it? This is such a pity. It's hard to find a good contractor nowadays. That's all you have to say? You can't do anything else about that? Waiting for the next big star. Let me be. So is someone going to give us a key somewhere eventually? Oh right, we can run by Susan, sorry. Like, whenever I take a good look at the map where we are, I always think about how we can move efficiently and things we want to do.
We still haven't found a blueprint for the windmill. Or even blueprints for the orchards, though... The way it's going, I suspect the looter's literary review maybe might yield more of these prints. Alright, Susan. What sort of words and comments do you have for us today? still need two more fish. Here we go. Here we are. Again. Still going strong with the ingots. My hands are literally tied by my profession. I have to accept the trash you bring me. What is it now? Your pocket's full of ingots. Remember to take them out before you go swimming. Here's a little something to show you I care. Not about you, but the act of showing that I care. Twilight outfit. That looks... Oh, shoot. I still have yet to cook two more dishes. I thought I got all those. Now I'm just gonna likely have to look up. Wait. No, one of these might be the tomato pizza because we were still missing tomatoes. And what would that be? We'll find out sooner or later, I figure. Yeah, we still have dishes to finish. Done that. We have two more fish to find. And I still have no idea where this fourth figurine is. Well, another time, Susan. Another time. To the bus stop. Still seems like there's plenty of places down here to the south we can. Well, we can hit Overbook, and we can hit Greatness. Just head to this one. We'll go see what Jackie wants at Overbook first. Again, just to kind of space things out. As much as I'd love to burn through all the lore with all the shrines with her sister Lily. I really just like to space these things out. Oh, 
All right, let's find out what else they put in the vending machine. You have to buy it with an oh interesting. The crispy burlapman protein bar that's full of crisp. like something happens when we purchase something from the like yeah it actually looks like things are getting fixed up when we purchase stock from the yeah because this ladder wasn't here interesting smellers just thought of that did you get my letter it was pretty good wasn't it hey lighten up will ya I didn't really fart up that envelope did I anyway thanks for the visit oh hey look at that the ladder is back great I told you it leads to the room of one of the more difficult patients here scratch that the most difficult patient he's got some issues like in the head like, difficult issues. He's really a pain. Mm. Yeah, okay, okay. I know it's my job. Don't look at me like that. I'll take good care of her, I promise. Mm -hmm. It's just... Well, it was a nice breather, not having to deal with her. The hospital was running so much smoother. Anyway, back to the grind, I guess. I ever want to have a chance to get on top of this. Mm. Hey, Stella. I'm... I know you're busy, and all, with your boat and your fancy duties. Saving the world, or whatever you always do. I think you could help out an old pal? Listen, here's what we're gonna do. I have an extra pager here. It was my colleague's. Well, before he just up and quit mid-shift and left me all alone to manage this crap show. Anyway, take it. That way, if I ever feel overwhelmed, I can just text you and you can come to the rescue. How about it? Okay. Fantastic. Oh, wow. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my chest. Crap, I almost forgot. What about that snack? Anything good? What? There was just one thing left? What a load of bull. Better be good. What was it? A crispy burlap men protein bar? Ugh, no thank you. That crap's full of unnatural ingredients and my body's a temple. Question of self-respect. Well, really gotta go now. See you soon. Well, if his body's a temple, does it mean he likes healthy stuff? Ugh. That looks healthy, I guess. Yeah, sorry, Stellars. I don't do fad foods. One day you're eating kale and quinoa. And then suddenly you're in a cult that venerates the juice gods. No thank you, not for me. Wow, okay. It's like healthy doesn't... Anyway. Now that just tells me that he might like junk food. Darn right! A meaty dish! You know, Stellars, I'm a big boy. Only meat can give me the protein to sustain my body. It ain't rocket science. So you like meat, but you don't like protein. Mm. Mm. This place is falling apart. We need to do something. Oh, 
Wood goes way up there. Are you blocking the door? Jackie. No. Oh. Interesting. Oh wow, and it's even more broken down over here, my gracious. Listen, you. I'm in big trouble. I'm not even supposed to be here. They got me. They got me good. I'll get them good. I was sleeping in a park. Minding my own business. Doing what Mark does. Which is... Sleeping in parks. I already said that. Pay attention. Now I'm out like a bag of clementines. That's an expression. Then, out of the blue, I'm here. I'm not even sure where he, where this is. I just know that Mark here, which is me, is not supposed to be here. Mark needs to be free. Free to sleep in parks. Free like the squirrels. So, here's the plan. I need to make a rope. A rope to help me climb down there. I've got a guy. Yeah, I know a guy. I know some guys. So, this guy is standing by, waiting for Mark to make his escape. If you bring me some linen, I'll make a nice rope and I'll be scot-free. And you'll get the satisfaction of helping me, Mark. Mm -hmm. Hurry back with the linen. I can't eat another bowl of gruel. Gruel. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait one second. You've already got some. Mm -hmm. So hand over the linen, will ya? Nice. 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 Did someone redeem, did someone redeem the channel point nice function? Thank you so much. I'm going to escape and meet my guy, and it's going to be amazing. I can't thank you enough. Mark would say, later. But you'll never see Mark again. Was Mark a ghost? Did Mark ever exist? Well, he does, because I am Mark. Prestige. Later. Hm. Now, where is my guy? Are you gonna get down, Mark? Or... I want to make some sort of X marks the spot or something. I don't know. Yeah, it seems every time Stella redeems something from the vending machine... Her Everlight allows the place to get a little bit nicer. And a bad thing. Hmm. Hmm. Have y'all still not found your kitty cat? Yeah, even the trees around here, all the trees and shrubs and most everything are looking dead. And yet there's some new growth happening. Maybe. I guess maybe every time we buy something, things will get a little bit better. And I guess that's what some of the use of the opals would be too. Oh, Francis is here. I can sell him the half-eaten chocolate bar. Oh my god. Probably should just go ahead and sell him these bovine licenses, because I I'm really only gonna have two cows. I get plenty of milk. I'll do that.
Hmm. The question is, do I want to go ahead and make these Electrum sheets? I already feel like we're gonna have a- ugh. I'm gonna just have to grind Electrum sheets off street. That's just because they take so much time to make. I don't want to take up all of your time making them when you're having more adventures. time is it? It is 1 p.m. in game time. I guess we could see about taking Elena to the upper door. Is it still way too early to go to Grey Mist Peaks in order to see Lily again? I guess that's what we'll do. I'm being paged. Oh, how do I answer this thing? I'm not sure how to answer the pager, but my controller won't stop buzzing. Oh. Kitchen emergency. Need help ASAP. Smell ya. Oh dear. Well, I think Jackie can wait just a little. continue on to the upper door. Oh! I forgot to open that up. We still have so many things clinging to the side of our boat. We are here. I know I've been working you hard lately. I hope you do understand. Everyone needs a little bit of discipline in their lives. For someone who takes others to the afterlife, you're holding on surprisingly well. 
I do have one last request for you. It won't be an easy one, considering what we've been talking about. Will you make the journey with me? I think this is her way of asking. I can wait. <laughs> I do think we will go ahead and take a little bit of a break, so we will be right back. Yeah, we are going to take just a little bit of a break. I do encourage you all to stand up, stretch, get some water, get some snacks, do what you need to do to take care of you and yours. In the meantime... Let me see. Just about setting up some friendly words on stream. This is just going to be kind of an in-between time for stream. Again, since I'm considering about likely putting these on YouTube at some point in the future, this will just be kind of a little in-between stream time. So a little bit of a break in between all that. So I'm just going to put some words on stream. If you feel like it, you can always type the words in chat if you're lurking. Um, you can even play this and I'll, you can just continue to lurk afterwards. It's just a little something fun for everyone. Just a little something in the meantime. Jethro, hello. I hope you are doing well if you're lurking. Hope you're getting work done or however you're enjoying your Friday. Again, you can just continue to lurk. I appreciate you lurking or chatting. I just appreciate you all being here. And again, we'll just go ahead and start up some words on stream and I'll be right back.
I am back and grapes were tasty. Hope you all got snacks and beverages and stood up and stretched and took a break. I do appreciate everyone that was participating in the words on stream though. You are appreciated. So anime is real. Words on stream confirms it. It's a real word. Not that it was. You know what I mean. <laughs>
GG's everyone, good job. And if you were lurking but came out to play words on stream, I do appreciate you showing up and hope you continue to enjoy your lurk and make progress on whatever it is you're working on. You'll go ahead and get right back into the game. Again, this is kind of just a nice little stream break, just a break in between the uh, content of the game we're playing. Just a nice little in between time for Twitch chat. Back to the game, everyone. I appreciate you all for being here and participating. All right, and welcome back. Thank you all for your patience. We will go ahead and move forward with, I guess, taking Elena through the door. But not before I can see if I could upgrade her house because she's not going to get a say in it. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yes, now you're going to have a fully upgraded house, whether you like it or not. the journey then. Thank you. And it doesn't feel like you were here long enough in order to even discover what your favorite food was for you to even request it up. For a while it felt like all of these spirits and friends were hanging around for a while. Now they're just going almost as soon as they are coming on board. <laughs> and one last thing. So, you were my first student in this place. I don't think you deserve a passing grade. What? I won't hold it against myself. And neither should you. A lesson you should learn from this. Life is hard. You should not be hard to it. People have the ability to change. You, ha you have the ability to change. You can shape how you want to be. I know that this is sometimes a tradition passing of a legacy, a token at the end, an heirloom, something for you to remember my time here. I do not wish to give you one. However, I have prepared something greater, tasks and requests from the great beyond that you will receive. A useless object will not make you think of me, but lessons will. I... Again, we meet all kinds of people and spirits on this journey. My goodness. I have nothing more to say at the moment. Hopefully this will all be over soon. Let 
me think of something. Okay. I'll just say it. I just want to say, truly, from teacher to student, I am proud. You did good work. I've been thinking, when we get there, maybe, just maybe, we can hug. We'll see how I feel. This is the only time I will let you. Come on. And going to the Everdor really makes you think. And maybe it's just because of... Allow me a little bit of... Thinking here. Maybe it's just because of my... My mind... The type and what... Seeing various stories over... I know there's all kinds of different people out there that treat things differently. Treat... People and are shaped by their own experiences and therefore want to shape other people with their own experiences in order to avoid whatever they think may be a negative outcome. With withholding affection, withholding a withholding praise in order to either be strong for yourself or be strong for others. Just Personally, to me, I just feel like that isn't a good thing. Because then you come to the time you have a departure, where you have a goodbye. Be it a person is, is passing away, or you're never going to see them again because they're moving across the world, or you're going to lose or cut off all contact. Having that one moment in the end, however the end is. Fortunately, I don't know if it feel it would override anything. It would it, it won't necessarily paint everything a different color from the hard stoic experiences again of withholding praise or withholding affection. I know, I know there's people out there that probably 
are like this and probably do feel like they're living in such a way that they're honoring them or others or honoring something. But, I mean, she had some good points about being having discipline because we do all need some discipline. We do all need some guidance, some restraint, some narrowing focus, you know, to focus on the future, to have, you know, our, our mindset changed when it sometimes can feel like we're lost or out of control or without control or anything like that. I just can't speak to withholding praise or withholding affection to be a good thing, no matter, no matter how you are. I know that there are even people out there, I've had a couple of mentors that I've looked up to, that I worked under, that in a way, even if they weren't constantly praising me to my face, that they would still honor and respect me and show that in a way, either by one comment here or there, even in our time together, where I knew that they cared, knew that they respected me. Even if they didn't care to give hugs or anything like that. Or even how they would speak to people like my parents. They would talk about me to other people without my knowing. Again, this is just me just speaking on the things of mental health and relationships. I don't feel you really should try hard to restrain praise or affection in order to feel like you're shaping somebody. You can find a way that's healthy to shape somebody, even if it doesn't. You, know, you can find a way that would help that would help shape somebody in a way that would suit you, but also be mindful of whoever it is you're mentoring, or shaping in that way. Or how your actions would shape somebody. And it just comes from learning from experiences, from having your mind changed. From learning good and not necessarily so good behaviors and how we affect each other. And anyway. That was just... That was just me kind of being on a little soapbox about that. Anyway. Just... Continue on. What time is it? Oh, it's morning, so I guess we'll just head back to Overbrook. Or wait. Jackie can wait just a little bit longer. We're already along this southern part here. I also discovered I need to go collect their spirit flower. I was doing some testing while I was setting up the microphone and everything yesterday to see how it would sound with the game running and everything else. I was concerned because I wasn't able to do anything. I wasn't able to make or farm anything in the meantime and I couldn't understand why. It wasn't until after resetting a couple times or trying two player. There is two player. Someone else can play as Daffodil, which is adorable. But other methods, it wasn't until the little pop-up about the spirit flower popped up and I went and collected it that it freed up me, it freed up my ability to go and do things again. Crazy things. A rough piece of cypress, Alina's spirit flower. I guess in a sense it sort of matches whatever... I get me get whatever was on her door, but also whatever was on her cape was on her chest. Yeah, let's go explore the south over here while we're down this. We'll just see what we can find, and Jackie can wait just a little bit longer. Again, not to not to be. Putting it off, then in a sense, when you have things to do, you don't have to feel like you're at someone's beck and call all the time. He 
I guess maybe we can also stop off and see if we can catch this tuna here. interesting like the boat almost just didn't stop Let's see if we can't catch this tuna over here for some extra money from Francis This one's a fighter. Albacore tuna. What is it? Bluefin, yellowfin, and I guess albacore is kind of a third kind. Fish means business. Yes, it does, Jethro. Oh my gracious. Alright. On south we go. See how far south we can go. I suppose after we've explored this area here a little bit, then we can maybe head back to Overbrook and check on what Jackie was. South, can we go from? Oh, hey, another looter's literary room. Looter's Literary Review presents the second of the Crow's End Ink Lost Bounties. And remember, a ship is never late, it is always on time. See enclosed portalon chart for reference. Hmm. Check that in the archives. Oh, and we got letters from Elena.
And that looks about as far south as we can go. But there's something over here. Two letters. Stella, I think you've had enough time off. I've marked a few errands for you to do. Francis will provide you with the details. Elena. Oh my. Hidden thicket discovered. Well, let's just go see what we can uncover in this hidden thicket. I'm still going to chuckle at this every time this happens with Daffodil. <laughs> this is the only kind of area I've seen Daffodil do that. In all the ways that she seems to get stuck and trying to catch up to Stella, I've never seen her self-inflate in order to float over to her until now. to do. Just another small spot for gathering pine and some gold and some other orbs. Interesting. stop and then we've got our southern border here established which that still seems to go further down not sure I'll ever be able to tackle whatever this darkness is. also here Francis you've got something for I guess let's go meet him and see if he can't give us our task Again, close to the area with more ice floats. Maybe, possibly, perhaps?
Wait, I always see pub or comfort, but then I have to remember he's lactose intolerant. Francis, what do you have for it? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my. Not only that, we'll get a significant amount of money for doing these. That's nice for once. Oh my gracious. Oh my gracious says to find more opals and diamonds. So I guess aside from upgrading things, I haven't had a whole lot of use. I think I can actually get some more opal and diamond from... Hmm? Darn, yeah, all I need is just more XP potions. Then just a little bit more aluminum and we can just cash in on some opal and diamond in order to turn this bad boy in so more just 30 more each of coffee tea celery wow well i guess get to growing coffee We've grown plenty of potatoes. We just need. Oh dear, are we also gonna go have to buy celery? Let's grow. Start growing. see if we can't duck jam our way some more props quickly. Very nice. I guess it was a good thing I actually stocked up on coffee bean seeds at some point. Now I just need to go find celery seeds.
few goodies here and there. Again, just while we're in the neighborhood, we'll just explore everything we can while we're Which means the Shadow Forest. That's gonna be. Shadow Forest Discover. some more pine. That's never bad. Is that really everything? It was such a huge cliff face over here, but it seems to be that that's cutting us off. Hmm. looks this is as far as we can go over here is ready again. Yeah. <laughs> 
There we go. I just gotta keep checking Buck's desk to see whenever that event. Keep getting more XP potions. There we are. If we do two more grows of coffee beans, it'll be enough coffee. We'll need several fields of tea leaves. I can't remember if celery grows by the two, threes, or fours per plant. Celery. They either find or redeem more opal diamond. Right, that's her time. Some of these I could probably do off stream. We may go ahead. Just noting for what we'll need. go up here and see how much an opal would actually be rather than having to worry about grinding for stuff. Take one last look at this.
again, that map still kind of looks like a beer and ice. I guess either an ice or comet air. Something like Okay, let's stop beating around the bush and finally go check on Jackie. Also, you have to keep an eye on anybody that's selling cellar. Go ahead and head to Overbrook. <laughs> and I suppose hopefully that time in should lie where if we go see Jackie about what his issue is, then we can shoot down to shoot up to Grey Mist for the shrine to see Lily again. Nice, this thoroughly watered soil seems to be beating up how quickly our crops grow. Again, that's nice. All right, 
right, Jackie, what you need? What's this kitchen emergency business? Oh shoot, Smellers. You really came. Always knew I could count on you. And nice to have a visitor, too. What? Oh yeah, crap, work. Right. I'm just so swamped. And to make things worse, I'm as difficult up there as being extra bothersome today. I can't leave my post here, it'd be too dangerous for her. Listen, I need you to get some grub for these poor people. They've been complaining all day. I swear, it's like they're helpless. Anyway, you should get to the cafeteria and grab some food trays. Anything will do. I mean, this is a hospital, right? People can't just expect five-star service around here. And just pass them around. It'll shut them up for a moment. Hopefully I'll be done up here by then. Here. I don't know what to say. This is what we're serving. If you're not happy, you don't have to eat here. But... Oh my. Do three patients. Hmm. This place is falling apart. We need to do something. Hmm. Down or up? Well, I can give you something. Wish I could give you something else, but. Hmm. This. This looks like food from yesterday. Oh. I don't mean it looks like old food. Hmm. I mean, it looks like it's already been eaten. Oh. Ugh. Mm. Fine. Oh. Mm. The line is always long at the hospital. That's just part of the journey. Once inside, that's another journey. Mm -hmm. Then they're inside you. That's another one. I'm just saying, your life is just a series of journeys. Hmm. Oh no, I forgot to bring a book. I don't have anything to entertain myself with. Time to use the old brain. Hmm. What do you have for me, old friend? Sure, brain, I'll think about chickpeas for a few minutes. Uh -huh. Thanks, brain. Hey, chickpeas are delicious in a number of forms, so... <laughs> is it just me or do hospitals smell different? I know, it's weird to think about your nose and smelling stuff. When are you really using it? Most of the time, it's just there. Not doing anything. I guess things just always smell like medium smelly, you know? When it smells real good or stupid awful, your nose just tells you. That's pretty much how noses work. Yeah. Hold on now, I need to give y'all stuff. I'm back here. By stuff, I mean not great stuff. Hmm. Wow, this food is... Well, I guess it's very slightly better than starving. I. Those, would you go for another bite? Except for something less... This is scandalous. Seriously, look at this food. I should go on a hunger strike. Mm. But I'm too hungry right now. Maybe later. Just give it. Mm 
Hey, I can't hear the incessant whining of hungry patients anymore. Does it mean you've fed all of them? That's great. A bit less on my plate, a bit more on theirs. Gotta admit, I was kind of scared you wouldn't follow the procedure. But you did, like a good little soldier. A model orderly, really. Anyway, thanks a bunch for your help. And well, something tells me I'll be needing your help pretty soon. Miss Difficult does not appear to be calming down anytime soon. Dear. Now I'm curious if I could have given them some of the food I cooked that would have been better than the nutritious slop. Hey, hey, hey. Got anything else in the machine over here that might fix this place up? No, nothing today. Alright, let's go to Grey Mist. Honestly forgotten that I'd grown some tomatoes. Some music for the journey. There we are. Pick up more tea suit. All right, let's see if we can't get up to this shrine before daybreak. Right, made it just in time. Hey, I'm back. I'm sad to report that there were no cute doctors wandering the halls. Look at you. You look so frail. But even on your hospital bed, you're still gorgeous. 
Well, this whiskey bottle is half empty. Let's just go ahead and say you drink the rest. You remember that phone call you gave me last year? You had taken a sabbatical from work. I had to call the center to learn about it. Yeah, she took a few months off. She got some bad news. What a weird way to learn that your sister isn't doing well. So, you call me two weeks or something after. It's maybe two in the morning. Your voice was shaking. I could hear you breathing heavily. Start talking about the trees around you in the air. No, hi Lily. No, I'm not doing well. Nothing, just talking about the trees in the air. You said it was cold. That it felt like death even over here. I didn't even know where here was. It's silent. It went silent. Then you said you'd be home in a few days. I didn't know what to make of it. Were you sleepwalking? Was that whole thing just a dream? I was scared. You came back and told mom and me of your diagnosis. And now we're here together. Mom is awake. And I'm awake and I'm holding your hand. You can hear me. I love you so much, sis. You're not alone in the woods anymore. We're here, Stella. You'll never be alone. You've never been alone. Stella's last voyage. Oh, wow. Well... Spirit and I actually had some thoughts and ideas about this, and it, it seems it's actually going to be true. Bring Stella and Daffodil to the Everdor. My time has come. I am no longer alone. Lily and Mom are with me, holding my hands somewhere out there. Dang. But we still have a few more things we need to do before we can even think about going to the upper door. Man. Like, sometimes you kind of hope the game might prove... prove you wrong. Then it's like your intuition was right all along. Freaking out. Lost people. Help, please. Oh, no. Well, back to Overbrook, I guess. Again, just kind of in between, it seems like we're just going to have music for the journey. I'm playing to grow all these plants for all of Elena's post-departure requests.
See if we ac actually can't finish the menu for reals this time. At least get close to it. All right, Jackie, what'd you lose this time? Again, I hope chat is doing well, whether you're lurking or chatting otherwise. I hope you're well and making good progress and just enjoying your time here. Appreciate you all being here and hope you're having a lovely Friday. Oh, it's you. I thought it smelled like eggs. Kidding, kidding, jeez. Chill a bit. You're gonna blow a fuse. But listen, little miss doesn't want a nap up there is really being a handful today. He's such a pain. Long story short, I haven't been able to make my rounds properly. There's a couple of patients that have a tendency to wander around the hospital grounds. Without yours truly to shepherd them back to their room, they'll surely be lost and scared. More like mocking and distracting the staff. Mind you, they're not dangerous, just confused. But we can't have them patients just wandering around. Management, management calls it a liability. You'd be a gem if you helped me by finding them. There should be three of them. Look for any patient visibly out of place or hiding. And then just talk to them. They'll listen to you and head right, right back to their room. Hey, thanks again. Hi. Oh, you look out of place. Shush! I'm trying to find a way to sneak in. I have it from a very good source that this tower isn't a tower at all. It's actually a rocket ship. It was built by the reptilians so they could flee to the stars. At least once they're done enslaving humanity. Mm. And as you know, reptilians have primo taste when it comes to snacks. If I could just find a way in, I'm sure I could snatch a few of them. I've been having a craving for ants on the log for weeks now. Mm. What? You've seen some in my room? Why didn't you say so before? Mm -hmm. See ya. Okay. You certainly looked out of place. This guy. What about old Mark? Mm -hmm. Now, where is my guy? Oh, nope, not him. You weren't here before. Mm. Oh, same guy. Oh, hello. Mm. Am I lost? No, of course not. I'm a doctor. Mm. Yes, a doctor of medicine with a doctor of medicology. The best of the best. I know all of the bones. Mm. There's the radius, and the diameter, and... wait. Mm. That's not right. Alright, I'm not really a doctor. I just wanted to have some fun. Mm. I'll go back to my room. Did you have a funky colored mohawk, and were you missing some teeth, and wearing like a belly band and a doctor's coat in a previous life life lifetime? Did you remind me of somebody else in another game that tried to pretend to be a doctor? Any luck on that kitty? Hmm. No luck on the kitty. Anyone else seem out of hiding? Out of hide out of place. Oh. Mm -hmm. Don't talk to me. I'm waiting for a raccoon ink to come and restock the vending machine. Then when they're not looking, I'll sneak into one of their boxes. Mm. And I'll finally be able to explore the world. Imagine where I'll go. First on a cargo ship. Mm. And then off to a storage hangar, probably for a couple years. Finally, I'll probably go to a recycling center to be made into a brand new box. Hmm. You know, you make some pretty good points. I'll just go back to my room. Sometimes, the mold w makes funny shapes. What? Saying mold in your room? 
makes funny shapes. Dear. Oh, this is a nice shortcut. How was it? Not too bad? Yeah, I didn't think so. Sure, Greta is super weird, but I guess that's just her. They're still a good bunch. Very cooperative, unlike you-know-who in her tower up there. Plus, I was pretty sure they'd go back to their rooms after meeting you. I know I would, if only to avoid the smell. Haha! Uh -huh. Oh, come on, you know I joke around. Anyway. Yeah, thanks for the help. Sometimes I wonder why I even bother with this job. Guess I don't know what else I could be doing. Unless they tell me I'm doing some good by working here, so... Win-win? I don't know. Never quite got that expression. Oh! Almost forgot. I had to rummage through my locker to finally find it, but I wanted to be straight with you. There you go, an old coin, just like the one you lent me the other day, remember? For the vending machine. Anyway, there we are now. Square. Well, smell you later. Huh. Oh, yeah, I guess the other thing did cost an obol. It does work. The question is, what el what else are these obols going to be used for aside from purchasing stuff from the machine? I guess we'll find out. So can I use this parrot's all to bounce up further? into the tower rather than waiting for Jackie to unblock the door. Maybe possibly perhaps. Well, can't get high enough in order to do that. Nothing new. Nothing of interest in here. Is the mascot on this vending machine supposed to be Karin from the beginning? That's kind of what it looks like. He's asking us for his favorite food. Will that work? Ah! Nothing right now. About to take a nap. Hiding from idiots. Sorry, wrong... Wrong member? Wrong member? Wrong number. Ha ha ha, JK, JK. Oh my great. Yeah, hey, I made a tomato pizza and I was just speculating that that might be your favorite thing. Considering you don't, you're lactose intolerant, but you probably still th like things like pizza. Why don't we go ahead and treat you to a tomato? This can't be! By the moons of Doraman! This is... The Red Disc of Unfathomable Bliss! Commander, I have no words. May your endeavors be forever blessed by the gentle touch of the Radiant Fae. May your fortitude be as eternally strong as Rogar the Brave. This is delicious. And I love tomato pizza so much. Oh good. Yeah, there's his favorite. Still don't know what else he likes and what else he dislikes. Ooh, yes, we want you to be happy so you can harvest XP potion. We want more XP potion. Speaking of... 
And as far as I can tell, I can't... DM... Desk... That's okay. Well, I guess I need to go check on Jackie again. Like, that didn't take long. Alright, Jackie, what have you been up to aside from taking a nap and possibly shirking your responsibilities and duties? He's gone from the door. Question is, where did he go? Because I don't know if the game is trying to point us towards going to check on the, quote, difficult patient, or if we actually need to go find Jackie. Yeah, this is looking this is looking like we're actually going to go meet the patient. But first, treasure. go. Is that a bat? My goodness. And she writes music. like the music that's playing in here. That's nice. Hmm. What time of day is it? Oh, it's night. Shoo. Darn it. That wire was there with a perp. Wait, can I not get on the wire? All I can do is follow it. Spirit fair, aren't you? That's what I thought. You are not the spirit fair. What? Hmm. You are only a liar. Liar! 
I am the spirit farer. I was chosen by Karin to find spirits and lead them to the afterlife. You've been doing my job. You just showed up at the spirit faring offices and collect and started calling yourself Gary. Yeah, my name is Gary and I'm the real spirit farer. You saw an opening and you took it. You're a shark, aren't you? This would have never happened if I didn't lose the Everlight Karin gave me. You fall asleep next to a pond once and you pay for it for the rest of your life. So listen up. You might be a liar and a cheat, but I know you're a decent person. I can feel it. That's one of the gifts of being a spirit fairer. To help feel people out. You would know that if you were a real spirit fairer. Anyways, I think it's your duty to help me out. From a fake spirit fairer, that's you, towards a real spirit fairer, that's me. You can go back to whatever you were doing and I'll go back to being the spirit fairer. Like I said, I was chosen by Karin, not you. Lucky for you, this shouldn't be too hard. My Everlight is somewhere in the water close by. You just have to go and fish it out. Just don't take your boat too far from this place. It should be in the water near Overbrook. Hmm. Interesting. And of course, it's a shenanigan. Oh my gracious. Oh, we need to play it. Okay. Jackie. You seen Jackie? I guess let's go play this melody that we found in the patient's room. you are. You have that quality. Some fine dust following you around. You're dirty, more so than the rest. The ground around you falls down. It is... It is... Perhaps it's the music? It feels like a beacon, a light shining through the mist. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry, I'm not used to talking anymore. My voice comes with difficulty. It so rarely does. More often than not, my voice comes whether I want it or not. It barks or whistles, no choice. But right now, it doesn't. Yes, that's right. I understand now. Stella, isn't it? We met so long ago. I wasn't here yet. And you were much older. Your music is harsh, Stella. 
It is not a beacon. It is an anchor. Large and heavy, backbreaking. And it might be razor sharp as well. I've yet to decide. To. I will. I. Oh. Oh. Rise and shine. Time for your. What the crap? Okay. Smellers? What are you doing up here? Oh, you got curious, right? Yeah, yeah, I can't blame you. Nutcases are often a fascinating spectacle. Hey now. But I see you've already met Miss I Don't Want to Take My Pills. Pretty underwhelming, right? The doctors, they call it catatonia. She just stays there, still, for hours. Pretty freaky, right? But I swear half the time she's just pretending, just to spite me. You should see when she starts chattering. Chatting, she's quite something. All ancient one, omnipotent and crap. I'm on to you, Daria. Oh, might be a real one. Hey, Daria, you there? It's your friend Jackie. Blink once if you can hear me. Yeah, this one seems like a doozy. I don't think she's faking it. Let's leave her to it, okay? So, about what happened in there? You see how she reacted to your presence? She's a mess right now. I know you're trying to help, but things aren't so easy. You can't always just smile the problems away. Trust me, the best thing for her is to stay up there and not to excite her. So, please don't go back up. You're just hurting her. Oh, got it? What's that? I sent you strange messages through the pager? Oh yeah, these. My bad. They were for someone else. Just don't worry about it, alright? And also, let's keep this one between you and me, okay? What management doesn't know won't hurt them. You wouldn't want old Jackie to be in trouble now, would you? Dear. Jackie. Got some splaining to do. Hmm. Well, he said he likes meat. You know what they say. Ain't a meal if it ain't got meat. I mean, each their own, so... I guess we can head back to the boat, fish, and see if we can find the other spirit farers ever light. And maybe see about tracking down the next treasure. light bulb? Is that what they meant by- oh. I mean, it is a light. Dude, let's see if we actually got your ever back. Oh. You have it. The Everlight. Well, thank you very much. Oh. Your services will no longer be required. Bye. Au revoir. Sayonara. Your reign of terror is finally over. Oh. I will retake my place as the one and only spirit fairer. Just need to remember how to turn this thing on. I'll figure it out by myself. 
Mm-hmm. Good luck with that. curious if Buck or Captain Silverleg, I guess in this case, would actually help us deciphering where this is. Hmm. Like again, it looks like it's next to a pair of islands, but then it's also near something. And the only other thing that looks like that has to be a comet spot. So look for a pair of islands. Uh. Aye! That's an hard one, Cap'n. Don't mind you that. A bear told me a secret that might help. Straight from misty woods to a hidden sanctuary, there be a wreck. I swear on me old shiny leg. Okay, so he actually does help. Lovely. That throws me more bone than having to peruse the whole map trying to figure my way out there. Misty woods, misty head towards the bus stop. Take another look at it. Oh dear. Of course. Power out. Too busy to fix it. Urgent, please come. Is it going to be to the west of Misty Woods, it's saying? It might be it. I guess let's go here, just go west of Misty Woods. A 
then again, what is what is that blue line south of? Gotta head out. Thanks for streaming. Well, I appreciate you being here, Kumama, and I hope you have a lovely evening. And I hope to see you again soon, whether here uh, or elsewhere. Hello. Take care of you as well. Oh, we can do this again. if we were near to where the treasure was it would have a marker suppose this is not it Let's just take a little look around.
Yeah, right now we're just kind of throwing arrows at a dartboard. Making a guess. Those really should just take a look around rather than taking into his word that it is Misty Woods. may have to seek this one out off screen. Well, chat. See if maybe we can't figure this out. this is obviously going to be a part of Buck's It's in that area, but it's referencing something from another map that we get reinsert. I guess it's that secret treasure map that was unreferenced. But we have our heading.
drop down and pick this up in the... No sparkles. All right, on we go. I just take a quick look around, see if there's anywhere we can go. Seeds were... to Nordwell. Nordweller for celery. Got to Arashima Lighthouse. Do the bus stop real quick. Swing by and grab all these seeds, and then we'll head back to Overbrook to see what Jackie's talking about. I need you to wake up. Oh. You remind me of a young pirate swabby on my last ship. He were a natural with the map. Bit of an attitude to my previous captain. Traded him for barrels of fire water. Was it worth it? Of course it'd been. I couldn't feel me fingers for days. Come to think of it, he also had a big hat. Arr. Don't worry, Captain. This be your ship. If anything, I'm the one who'd be traded. This all doesn't have any liquor by chance. Next time, maybe. Until the next issue of Looter's Literary Review. Indeed.
Right. First two Nordweller. Which celery do we have? Takes nine. Need thirty. Even assuming if we only get two per. Do some quick math. get 10 to be safe. They're not that expensive. I'll make it 11 just to be safe. 22. Anything else? celery seeds when Francis is here good time make sure Need more tea, more celery, to be able to finish that one. Oh, we actually need just one more opal to finish that big one off. It's not bad. And we still need two diamonds. Huh. Go ahead and do this at least. be quite a few things that I'll be grinding off stream before next time for sure.
And then we need to head to Hikarashima Lighthouse. He's all right with pub food, but he likes comfort. What other type? Blessed be the stars. I salute your insight, Commander. You astutely guessed that my heart would be brimming with joy at the sight of a good old-fashioned meal. An ancestral delight of ep epic resonance. Many thanks. May the lords of Wyering accompany you in your path. Whoops, sorry, I spit on you. How about a hug? Down to Hikarashima. I don't know about all of you, chat, but I feel like I'm going to have the, uh, growing melody stuck in my head. I'm playing it so much. Just take seven grows to get what we need for Francis. Get our tea leaves and then we'll be on our way back to Overbrook. you just to be safe.
just a couple. And back to... Francis. What happened and why did the power grow out? Let's go see if we can't get the power back. These gentle rip. I'm actually relieved. See, when it started smelling like sulfur, I really thought a volcano was about to go off. This joke is getting old, and you really have to understand that once you've beat a jo beat a joke till it's a dead horse, you really need to stop. Or perhaps I was having a stroke. Luckily, it's only smell or it's natural B.O. Haha! -ha. Anyway, thanks for coming so quickly. Also, my logic is, when you tell a joke, even if you say you're joking, sometimes there's partial truths hidden in a, hidden in a joke that you put, mean that you could possibly mean a part of what you're joking about. Otherwise, you wouldn't say it. As you can see, I'm swamped again, and the hospital's main power converter just shut down. Again. Mm -hmm. That's where the crap management puts us through. Don't worry, it happens all the time. The hospital's running off the backup gener backup power generator now. But if that one goes AWOL, well... Yeah, let's not think about that. An electrician really should be fixing the main power converter, but I've managed just fine until now. Whoa. It's simple, really. Take this key. It unlocks the elevator in the far east of the hospital. Once you're up there, you gotta find the fuse box and, uh... Just press all the buttons until you hear a noise. That's what I usually do. Thanks for the help. Hmm. Which, if we get access to turning the power back on, as well as this... Um... Power line up here... Maybe that would mean we can use it and bypass Jackie to go see Daria again. It's working. Hello? Are you back? Yes, yes you are. I have to remember. I must make it stick. Clues and hints, they give you away. Yes, I'll remember. The weight of your music. And all of your noises. Dead giveaways. 
couldn't keep away, could you, Stella? I think the giant told you to stay off. Ugh. He told you to stay away. He did, did he not? After your last visit, he ripped the melody. Clean off the wall. Next morning, it was back up. You do not see it? I see. Seems like I still have a lot to learn. Maybe I'm getting worse. I have thought it through. Your anchor. I have decided that it is not a sharp thing. It is dull and heavy. It is... Comforting. It is... No. Uninteresting. You play your battered guitar with rooted confidence. And you call for me. The ocean grows calm. The... Um... The noises. The cries. They become muffled. Like in a thick fog. You're wrong, Stella. You spent so much time numbing others to their pain. Well, you've numbed yourself. When... When you play, Stella. My melody. When you play it, it is dumbed down. A solid chunk. Dense platitudes, and... But... It is not your fault. Sometimes I dream. Yes. In my long nights, I dream of an old friend. An instrument. Strange and yet familiar. A delicate schooner. With masts of crystal and sails of warped steel. And when it is caressed by the watery breeze, it wails softly. A haunting and yet comforting music. Yes. This is the instrument my melody is for. With it, Perhaps I could sail freely. I'm tired now. Please. Please leave. You want something to eat, though? Would you like a hug? Do you like fruit? Fresh. Delicate. Juicy. Delicious fruit. Thank you. She does like fruit. I'm about a hug. Oh. A strong grip. A warm heart. That's what we like. I see the main power is back on. Super. Did you use my patented mash every button randomly technique? I swear I could be an engineer. Their job is a joke. Mm -hmm. The whole engineering thing is a scam anyway. Dude, you don't understand the whole and the scope of engineering, do you? It's just wires French kissing other wires. We get it. Another way for rich people to keep rich while crapping on us, crapping on us pores from their ivory towers. We should organize, start a revolution or something, you know? Take arms, comrades, and crap. I should write a pamphlet one of these days. Proper one, like political and stuff. Sometimes when I'm in the shower, I have these thoughts you wouldn't believe. Just great stuff. And I guess I can't really take the time off. This whole place would just fall apart without me. I can't do that to these people, right? Ugh, that stinks. Not as much as you, but still, pretty smelly stuff. Jackie, am I gonna have to nickname you to Smacky? Because that's what I want to do every time, also, almost every time I want to talk to you. Hey, thanks, Stellars. As always, you're a pearl. I got it from here. I guess let's see how far we can get to the ship without Smacky texting us on that pager he gave us.
There we are. How close are we to fulfilling that? Eleven more to go, which means need about six more grows before we even have enough to come close to what. Goodness. Let's see if we can't fulfill Daria's request and. <laughs> Young lady, how I appreciate your visits. Always some treasure for old Francis here. What have you brought for my admiration today? Oh, mm -hmm. oh nothing? You're, you're looking for something? From my collection? How very odd. Mm -hmm. Well then, let's hear it. An instrument? My instrument collection is immense, dear. You'll have to be more precise. A delicate schooner. With masts of crystal and sails of warped steel? Oh. <laughs> oh, very poetic and intriguing. Very well, let me think. Let me think. Aha! Yes, I do have one such instrument. And although I do not know its name, I figured it was quite rare. I wouldn't normally part with such a prized find, but oh. <laughs> to tell you the truth, has it has become quite bothersome to ferry around. Its glass rods are delicate and fragile. I need to clear a wide berth around it just to make sure it does not break. Just imagine what wonders I could tightly pack in the space it currently occupies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very well, it's decided. I will give the instrument to you. Oh. Not for free, though. This here raft is no charity. As usual, consult, consult the available errands for my specific rates. Oh boy. Okay, not bad. At least we have everything on hand. Well, let's head back and see what Daria says with this instrument. Hello. I have a thought and an intuition as to how the instrument ended up not only away from Daria, but in the ocean where Francis could collect it. And I don't have good feelings about that instrument going missing. probably need to use that wire in order to get back up to
How about this? Um, let's give you something to eat. What would you like? You like perhaps a fruit or berry pie? No. I need something fresh. Delicate. Hmm. Oh. Wow. So do you have a favorite fruit? have this free a strange instrument assembled from long grass glass rods and steel resonators Daria asked for one I'm curious as to what kind of instrument this might be long glass rods and steel resonators hmm Is that it's yes the instrument from my dream oddly familiar how comforting I think Stella that I once knew how to play it my my memories are hazy or rather my memories are too many and I know better than to trust them so many lifetimes are too many to fit in this tiny life of mine but this instrument I know it I'm sure of it Thank you for the gift. Here's payment for your services. Leave me alone now. I have some practicing to do. And when you come back, perhaps I'll play for you. Aww. Curious if Jackie would tell you about this. Nothing. <laughs> HR told us about PDA. Glad to see you're not a square. See if anything happens once we do leave. Yep. What the heck? I told you not to talk with Daria and give her an instrument. What the heck is your problem? Get your butt here. Sap. Oh boy. kind of figured Jackie wouldn't be happy with her or happy with us giving her an instrument which sucks she's gone back to sleep oh. 
What the crap are y'all looking at, huh? I didn't do nothing wrong, all right? It was that gosh darn psycho nutcase up there. She just lashed out at me. She's a lunatic. I've said it for years. We should just pump her full of pills and be done with it. Jackie, please. I really am gonna smack you. No answer, huh? That's what I thought. Bunch of freaking losers. Huh? What? Oh, you're there. Final freaking Lee. And what took you so long? Were you checking out the birds and the pretty clouds on the way here? Well, I could have used your help for once. Oh, you want to know what happened, don't you? I'll tell you what happened. You happened. I told you that she was unstable. I told you that she needed to be left alone. But no, you couldn't leave it to the professionals. Smacky, I don't really consider you a professional. Take that. Little Miss Perfect just has to stick her nose in everyone's business. She was already crazy to begin with, and then you give her that psycho instrument? Made with glass and sharp steel? Are you out of your darn mind? So yeah, I go in and I try to take it from her, and then... And then... Whatever. This job is not about you, Stella. It's not about feeling good. It's about safety. It's about keeping us safe from these morons. And keeping them safe from themselves. What? Calm down? You calm down. I swear, this frickin' place. I can't take it anymore. Actually, know what? Yeah, I won't take it anymore. Cause I quit. Ha! You can all drop off a cliff. And you, have fun taking care of these idiots. So long. Wow. And don't bother calling. I won't answer. <sighs> I probably am just gonna call him Smacky for the rest of the time because he has yet to redeem himself from this. I heard all of that. That orderly Jackie. He's always been a loose cannon, but he's gone too far this time. Things are really bad out here. He's the worst thing to happen to Overbrook since mandatory nighttime slop. I can't believe what he did to Daria. She's usually so quiet. She keeps to herself. She only had one thing, her music. And well, she fought to protect it. What a mess. This place has really fallen on some hard times. We need better living conditions. We need fresh meals. We need proper medical care. We are here to be cured, not forgotten or ill-treated. I'm not waiting on the staff, not even on management. I'm taking matters into my own hands. But I'm gonna need some help. Possibly by someone with a boat and people skills. What do you say? You don't need to answer. I just know you're already in. Alright, let's start. Here's a list of potential candidates. You'll need to find capable people. We can't have this situation happening again. I'm counting on you. Oh my. Oh wow, they really thought ahead. Recruit a chef. Talk to a foreman. Recruit a gardener. This hospital is cruelly understaffed and in need of dedicated employees. Time to find some competent people. <sighs> but I do think that is going to do us for tonight. Thank you everyone that was here, whether you lurked or chatted. I do appreciate you. appreciate you hanging around and just spending your time with me with the channel. Uh, next week... Am I going to try to stick to around the same schedule, about three to four days a week, just depending on things that are going on here. But uh, I will be posting the schedule once I have it figured out in the Discord, as usual, as well as uh, messaging and pinging when we go live with the stream. Also, a uh, tweet on social media on my Twitter, which is in the socials below when we will be doing these next, as well as other little fun things or things I like to retweet or share and stuff. 
But let us see if there is someone we might rape tonight. Let's see. No, I'm not really finding anyone I can send you all off to. I do hope you all have a lovely day or evening, wherever you are in this big world. Again, um, likely we'll stream a few days next week. Uh, possibly, likely Monday. Again, trying to stick to a regular time and schedule. Uh, right now, we'll tentatively shoot for next Monday to play this again, Monday at 1 o'clock. Um, I will be doing some farming, just to see if we can have all of our materials to not only complete all of our side quests, all of our uh, improvements on the ship, just for trying to go for as close to 100% completion as possible. And be all prepped up for next time. But I do hope you will all take care, and I will see. hope to see you again soon.